Hi everybody and welcome back to the third installment of Fuzzbeard Industries pedal demos. So today's video star is going to be the Fuzzbeard Industries FT68 Mini. It's a smaller version of the Fuzztone 68 which was born from a project I did earlier this year for my friend Sam Orr who's the guitarist in a band called 1968. Uh, they're based up in Cheshire in the northwest of England. You should definitely check them out on Bandcamp. Great guys, great music. Uh, for me, it sounds a lot like kind of old Soundgarden, which is never a bad thing. Never a bad thing to sound like old Soundgarden. We all love Soundgarden. So yeah, about a year ago, Sam brought me this old uh, Rocket FX enclosure and asked me to build him something in it. After a lot of tinkering, the Fuzz Tone 68 was finally born and I was very happy. We were both very happy with the results. Uh, so I decided I would set about making another one in a 125B enclosure, kind of similar to the one, um, kind of similar to this one that you'd see on the Meaty Boy. I built the Meaty Boy in. That's uh, <coughs> that's a 125B. Um, the idea was to just sort of like prototype it in a more standard enclosure and see how that worked, and that went pretty well as well that came out nicely uh, as you'll see in a minute over my over my shoulder but yeah that both looked and worked great so I decided to make a run of them in various colors uh, and to keep things challenging I decided I was going to house them in a smaller enclosure as well so I guess by now you wanted to get a peep at this thing so let me introduce you to the FT68 Mini there you go uh, this here is the darker of the green ones I've got I bought a bunch of enclosures in um, in various different colours and uh, this here is the darker of the green ones that I've got. Uh, it's got stock graphics on it, uh, stock knobs on there and it comes with these fancy one of these fancy colour coded nuts on the switch and a light plate as standard as well. Uh, the LEDs in the light plate are also kind of colour coded to go as closely with the paint job as I could get uh, and as you can see I've added a little bit of glitter spray, well quite a lot of glitter spray uh, to give it some sparkle but also it gives it just a slightly kind of rougher finish it makes it just look a little bit more I don't know uh, road weary now including this one I have a total of 10 of these little enclosures uh, that I can use to make up, up to 10 uh, FT68 minis now most of them are going to be stock uh, with the color matched anodized nut and light plate and the same graphics and knobs as you see on this one right here however if you want one of these bad boys but you want to change up any of those things then I'm all ears if it means that you get exactly what you want for your money now we'll go back to it ever so briefly and just run you through the controls on it so again just above my shoulder here will pop up a little graphic and as you can see it's a two knob fuzz uh, it's two controls on it labeled volume and meat the volume kind of speaks for itself pretty obvious really it's a volume knob makes it louder or quieter and meat controls the tone stack all the way down uh, it's just a big chunky slab of sound just like being hit with a breeze block uh, and as you crank it up you start to dial in a nice little hump in the midst so um, there's a pretty decent range on this uh, on the meat control and with the knob anywhere past about two o'clock you start to get some kind of nice spicy mid boosts going on so it's great for lead parts or or anything where you need your guitar to step forward in the mix a little bit. Uh, so now you've seen it, let's hear it. So first of all we're going to hit you with a little bit of clean through the mat amp. So it's a uh, Gibson SG standard running through the pedal into the mat amp uh, mini mats into a orange 1x8 cap. set the effect on with the volume at 4 o'clock and the meat setting at 3.
we're going to drop the meat control right the way back down to zero and see how it sounds with zero meat. <laughs> set to down to zero uh, so we're going to crank it up a little bit more to nine o'clock now some nice crunch around about nine o'clock so let's turn it up to 12 and see what we get Finally, let's hear it at full tilt. So this is with the meat control up at maximum.